We begin tonight with a rare economic declaration from our president, Joe Biden, which we will now record for posterity. Please take a listen. For too long, Republicans have thrown around terms like pro-growth and supply-side economics to drive an economic agenda that didn't deliver enough growth and supplied more wealth to those who already were very well off. From day one, my economic agenda has been different. It's been about taking a fundamentally new approach to our economy. Well, that's right, Joe. We have a brand new approach to our economy. You've generated the first serious bout of inflation in four decades. Nice going. This could not have been an easy thing. The Fed has been trying to get inflation above their 2% target for years and years. You just did it in nine months. Nice going, sir. 7%. It's called way too much government spending to boost demand and way too many taxes and regulations to choke off supply. What you should do in the new year, by the way, is dump your advisors and then make Senator Joe Manchin the chair of your Council of Economic Advisors. Why? Well, because he was completely right about his high inflation forecast. In fact, he's been right all year, and that's why we are saving America and killing the bill. Your $2 trillion boondoggle spending bill last winter contributed mightily to inflation. The Federal Reserve enabled it, and distinguished Democratic economists like Larry Summers and Jason Furman, they told you so, along with Joe Manchin. Now, if you slap on another $5 trillion of spending, which you have tried awfully hard to do but have failed and will continue to fail, well, then we'll hit double-digit inflation. So you're right, sir. You've triggered a fundamentally new approach to our economy. A big inflation which inevitably will lead to a big recession in a couple of years. So thank you for that. Now, maybe you can haul out Vice President Kamala Harris, and then she'll put your new economic thinking in the same historical pantheon as Pearl Harbor and 9-11, which was disgusting and grotesque yesterday. But as for your attack on supply-side growth economics, I invite your attention to some actual factoids. In a recent piece by Trump economic advisors Kevin Hassett and Tyler Goodspeed using government factoids, they note that in 2019 alone, real median household income rose by $4,400, $4,400. That's middle income folks. That's a bigger increase in one year than the whole combined totals during the George W. Bush and Obama administrations. Real wages for the bottom 10% of the distribution rose 8.4%, while real wages for the top only 5.2%. Real wealth for the bottom half of income earners rose an incredible 28.4%, while the top 1% only 8.9%. Business investments surged, as did labor productivity, which is why real wages for the middle class increased far more than for the upper end folks. By the way, Trump tax policy imposed a severely lower cap for the rich blue state deductions for state and local taxes. You want to subsidize the blue state rich. President Trump's supply side policies led to a middle class blue collar boom throughout the country. Unemployment among minority groups that's African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, women, all that dropped to 50 year lows and in some cases even lower. Poverty fell substantially. So did inequality. But Uncle Joe, your big government socialism plan to spend tax and regulate the entire economy is losing ground on almost every one of these points. Your signal achievement with your so called fundamentally new approach to the economy is just a massive inflation tax on middle class working folks and even more on the lowest income folks. And Uncle Joe, as you were reading across your teleprompter this morning attacking supply side economics, let the record show that as a senator, you voted for Ronald Reagan's hugely successful supply side tax cut packages in both 1981 and 1986. So, Either you were smarter back then, or you've become kind of a hypocrite right now. May I remind you, sir, Democrat John F. Kennedy was the first post-World War II supply-side tax cutter, 
and it led to massive across-the-board prosperity. Then came Reagan, and then came Trump. Lower taxes, with their incentives to work and invest, boost prosperity, and reduce inflation. And as Art Laffer reminds us, you tax something more, you're going to get less of it. But if you tax something less, you'll get more of it. Somebody should add that to your teleprompter, Ms. President. You know, it was John F. Kennedy who first said, a rising tide lifts all boats. Somebody should add that to your teleprompter. And come to think of it, sir, you just throw the whole teleprompter out. Get yourself a new one, this time backed up by some common sense economic thinkers. Just my thoughts, sir, with all due respect. And that's my riff for this evening.